Stampers. Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Beth, part of the Stamping Jill creative team. I'm here to share with you the Merry, Bold, and Bright Suite. It's in just the first few pages of the new mini catalog, and it's exactly what its name is, Merry, Bold, and Bright. It has so many fun colors, it grabbed my attention right away. Let me show you the colors that are in this suite. There are a lot. <laughs> There's Poppy Parade, Melon Mambo, Flirty Flamingo. Those are kind of the reds and pinks. Lemon Lime Twist, Granny Apple Green, and Shaded Spruce are kind of the green colors in different hues. We have Crushed Curry, Blueberry Bushel, and Pool Party in the blues. So we have so many options when it comes to colors. If your favorite color is on this rainbow spectrum at all, then this is a sweet for you. The stamp set and the dies are all about Christmas lights, which is so fun. You can build Christmas lights by using these different little backgrounds and then it's a two-step stamping where you can add the little coil on the inside. We have this little um, string here that you can put your lights on, but there's also multiple ways in the dies to string up your lights and make different little layouts. So fun. This actually, this stamp set reminds me of one of the very first stamp sets I ever used with Stampin' Up. I was 12 years old and I went to a workshop with my mom and we made scrapbook pages that were Christmas and we lined the outside with Christmas lights. It was so fun. So this took me back to that time. I've been stamping for a long time, <laughs> but I loved it so much and I love the thought of using different colors. Also included in this suite is this beautiful foil paper. It comes in Granny Apple Green and Melon Mambo, which just adds the perfect little glitz for your cards or your projects really really pretty but my favorite of all is the designer series paper it comes in a 12 by 12 size and has 12 different sheets but they're double sided so one side of the sheet has these cute stripes and polka dots and different things in the bright colors the other side has christmas lights and fa la la some little christmas tree more lights and trees so you really could use this for Christmas if you wanted to, but you also could take these and use them for any celebrations, birthdays, Christmas, any holiday really. You can customize this because there's so many options available. Also included in this suite are these really fun adhesive back discs. They're iridescent and they come in the five different colors which coordinate with this suite, but they add so much to the projects as well. And then there's this really pretty iridescent ribbon it's a perfect width and it's really easy to tie. I liked it a lot. When I started to stamp with the Christmas lights, I recognized that there were so many different colors and I got a little bit overwhelmed. So what I did was created a little template to see which color coordinates with which light. So Because I wanted to stamp my light one color and then do a different color on the inside with the little coil. So here is kind of what I came up with as colors that I thought worked really well together. As you can see, I tried and tried and tried a bunch of different combinations until I found the ones that I liked. Um, and this was just what I did. So I would encourage you to, if you're not satisfied with these, to try out a bunch of different combinations, see what you like. I didn't stamp anything off. It's all full strength because I didn't wanna to try to keep track of what I had stamped off. For me, that's too overwhelming, but this is how I like to stamp and keep a little template so I know going forward, oh, I really like this color, or I didn't think that blueberry bushel and shaded spruce would be the right mix because they're both so dark, but I think it worked better than any of the other ones, obviously, that I tried <laughs> all over the place. So if you want to see this template in a still picture, join us on our blog. We are at stampingjill.com and we'll have a still photo there for you to reference. Let me show you some cards that I created using this suite of products. I started over the top because I like to play with the dies right away and see how they cut out, what they cut out. So I just took some of this really fun foil paper and I cut out the dies just to see kind of what it looked like. And then I loved adding, you can add little toppers here with the die and I did that in some pattern paper. I added, some, I did the cutouts in the back of the strings that come in the die so I had a little bit of a reference. I thought that turned out really fun. But this one was a very avid card. This took me some time, but I thought it turned out really, really cute. I wanted next to focus on stamps. So I stamped 
with these cute little lights over here. My layout's not super different, honestly. I recognize that after I made my card, but I tried and played with some different colors. I pulled different colors from the stripe paper that I used in the back, but I still wanted it to be Christmassy. I wasn't really focusing on like birthday or using it for a different event. I wanted it to be Christmassy. And I love the addition of this little star stamp that's in there. It's a perfect filler for your backgrounds. Next, I wanted to build a tree. I thought, I saw this in the catalog, actually, this min, the mini catalog, that one of their samples, they had done this, and I thought it was so, so cute. I wanted to use some of the designer series paper in the background because it's so, so pretty. This is another die here of the little string of lights, just a little smaller, and then I topped that a merry and bright Christmas to you and yours on some vellum so that it would calm down and tone down maybe a little bit, those bright colors, and then added that. Um, just on top of the card. I thought that turned out really cute. At this point, I wanted to do something a little simpler and I wanted to focus on the Christmas paper because I had been using the bright, bright paper for so long. So I took strips and I used just one of our little note cards and envelopes. So this measures three and a half by five as the card size. And I just took strips. So these two smaller strips are three quarter inches and these bigger strips here are one inch each. So the fa la la and the polka dot are one inch by five and a half. And then these ones are three quarter inch by five and a half. And I just layered them out, added a little saying and some ribbon and our little discs there. And I thought it turned out really cute. But you always have to remember to stamp on your envelope because that makes it so fun. So that's a quick one. That took me just a couple minutes. And then I used this one. This folder is in the mini catalog, but it's not in this suite, but I really loved it, this embossing folder that I used here. Um, I love this, green is my favorite color. So the combination of the green and the red with the light and the dark green, I thought was so fun. And I love this foil, it just adds a little pop and a little glimmer and makes it seem like it's really Christmas lights, which is really fun. So when you open your mini catalog, when you come right to this first Merry, Bold and Bright bundle, I don't want you to overlook it just because it's maybe different Christmas colors than you're accustomed to. I want you to stop and think about it, how you could use it for Christmas, but maybe also how you could use it for other events. That designer series paper is double-sided, so you can use some for Christmas now, and then later you can use it for birthday celebrations or other holidays, how it works for you. So we will link these products below in the video. If you like what you see and you want to order them, check those out. You can order right online through us. And don't forget to check out our blog at stampingjill.com for a still photo of the colors that we used on the different Christmas lights so that you can know the combinations and how they work for you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week on another Watch a Weekly Wednesday.